Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying four new to us chocolate bars. These are Tony's Chocolony bars. I have the milk chocolate, the almond sea salt. This one's the uh, caramel sea salt and dark chocolate. Extra. You know what? This is dark chocolate sea salt. So do you want to switch these around? Yeah, sure. Okay. So we're going to try the milk chocolate first. These were $3.99 each at the fresh market. And I know that sounds expensive, uh, but there are four servings in the bar if you eat it the way that they intend for you to eat it. It's quite chunky. It says, uh, hello there, I'm Tony's Chocolony. I exist to end slavery in the chocolate industry. My mission is to make 100% slave-free the norm in chocolate. Together with you, together we'll make chocolate 100% slave-free. Are you in? Read the inside of the wrapper. Hmm. Okay, so I, didn't know that I didn't either, so we'll have to read that. Uh, these are made in Portland, Oregon, www.tonyschocolony.com forward slash US is the website. Uh, one fourth of the bar is 230 calories. So, okay, <clears throat> I'm going to look at the inside of the wrapper. Uh, share our chocolate and share our story. Right now, slaves are working on cocoa farms in West Africa. Many of them are children. Tony's Chocolony exists to change that. Our vision is, uh, we already read all this. Um, really, it tells nothing more on the inside than it told on the outside. I don't see any more information. Except that they're, they're Except slaves that making it's, chocolate in Africa. That, that, that it's in West Africa and it's children. Many of them are children. Um, mm -hmm. Wow. That's cool looking. It's pretty cool. So, what I would recommend is to go to their website if you want to hear more about their story and find out uh, what's going on from there because Honestly, I thought there would be more information on the inside. The only bad thing about it being broken up in this cool pattern is how do you figure out what four portions are? Exactly. You would have to wait. You'd have to wait out. Because Kevin's absolutely right. Although that's really cool, the bite that I got is was this big. And mine's narrow. But the piece that says Tony's is it's huge. huge and you know, so. Anyway. It's a minor thing, but. Mm. It's good. It has like almost a toffee kind of flavor. It does. That's delicious. Mm. That doesn't taste like straight milk chocolate. Mm -mm. It tastes like it has toffee bits in it. It doesn't, but that's what it tastes like. I would have never thought that there would be so much flavor in just really a good. milk chocolate bar. I would have thought this would have been the plainest, most boring of the four. That is delicious. That is, that is very, very good. Mm -hmm. Especially if you like toffee, like a Heath bar or something like that, a score or something like that. Um, you'll really like that because that's, um, that's really good. Very there's good. so much chocolate there. Honestly, you could break that thing up and just eat a little piece here and there and enjoy it more than four servings. That definitely does have a uh, toffee-like flavor to it, mm -hmm. though. So... It's got to be here's the page. Oh, okay. This one, are they all different? Yes. No, a fourth of the bar is 230 calories. Yeah, one of them was 240. Okay, this is caramel and sea salt. So it's milk chocolate, caramel, and sea salt. The wrappers are kind of like glued, so it's kind of hard to They're, get it without tearing it, the whole thing. You're just going to have to tear it. I'm working on it. We'll put it in a uh, Ziploc bag. I'm going to get my fingers already, though. We'll put it in a Ziploc bag and we'll finish we it anyway. So. You can see the... The almonds in there. Same pattern on the front, it looks like. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Break me off a piece of that Tony's bar. Nope, that didn't break really good. There's yeah, and there's a big long piece there. Yeah. I didn't see that before. Yeah, they don't break evenly. Hmm. I get salt. Mm. 
I get a little crystals of salt. I did. I don't really taste the almonds because they're not very many of them in there. It's not. It's caramel sea salt. Oh, caramel. Okay. That's why you didn't taste the little bits, Whatever those little bits are, it must be caramel. There's not a lot of them in there. They're kind of just spread out. Um, well, you can see in the bottom. They're not everywhere. They're just here and there. So it depends on what bite you get. It must be the caramel that made that chocolate, the, the regular milk chocolate bar, so good. Give it that toffee flavor because this one has that same flavor except it's intensified by like 20. Was this caramel? No. No. Well, then what was it says? Oh. The milk chocolate, the, 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 the flavor, the flavor, the milk chocolate bar had a toffee right. flavor. Well, that flavor to me is in this bar times 20. Yeah, it's stronger. Yeah, and it's yeah. supposed to be the caramel. So I'm saying whatever caramel they used in this bar, they had to have put some of it in that milk chocolate bar for it to have that same flavor. Mm. Those are both delicious. Yeah, very, very good. I mean, delicious. Okay, so do you want to try... Let's try the 51% almond sea salt dark chocolate bar because it's 51%. It won't be as dark. Okay, what is this one? The oh, 70% gosh. extra dark. It does say extra dark. Ooh, this is a gold wrap. I didn't even notice that when I bought it. It's okay. Uh, if it's a smooth cho dark chocolate, I don't mind it. Oh, I don't either, but that one is really dark. It is. <laughs> the last one that we're going to try is pretty dark. But someone had, uh, when they saw my grocery haul, when they saw these in my grocery haul, they had commented, I love those bars. The only bad thing about those bars is that I buy them and I go through them too quickly. I eat them too fast and I thought, oh, they'll be good, but they won't be that, you know, not that good. Those, the first two that we tried are that good. Definitely harder. Mm-hmm. It has that crisp little snap. Mm -hmm. It's the snap. Get salt. Mm hmm. It's actually a good dark chocolate. I like the dark chocolate and the salt. They go good together. It's a, it's a good dark chocolate, but it wouldn't be one that I would buy just because I'd rather have the milk. That's just I would too. I prefer the milk. But it is a good dark. If you are a dark chocolate lover, you would enjoy that. Yeah. You do get the sea salt. Mm -hmm. You do get the almond. And it's not a it's not a bitter dark chocolate. I mean, it's it's dark, but it's not like bitter like in the bitter. Um, to, I don't think it is. To me, it's border. It's <laughs> really see. I don't. I don't really. Get, I mean, it is. A, like I said, it's a little dark, but it's not bad. Do you want to see what this? Oh is? yeah. <laughs> now let's see what this is before I just throw it to the side. This is 240 calories. Is this more than the other one? Yeah. How could this be more calories than the mm -hmm. milk chocolate caramel sea salt? Mm -hmm. it, it is though. It's about 10 calories. I, I just, you wouldn't think that because this is 70% 70, 70 extra dark <laughs> chocolate. Dark chocolate bar. Okay. Yeah, find a small piece. The only, uh, honestly, the only problem I have is the way that it is made. It's chopped up. It's chopped up. It's just really snappy. Mm-hmm. Almost crumbly. <laughs> I do like that texture, though. That's like something you would use to bake with. Mm-hmm. You know what though? It's not bad though. No, it's not. It has it almost have a, a coffee. Yeah, I can see that. It, it does have that dark flavor. Mm -hmm. It has a little bit of bitterness to it, but it's not a sharp biting bitterness. You know, it's there, but it's not like a, I mean, like even a um, Hershey Special Dark. Mm -hmm. Those are bitter and like almost like a biting, like a, it's almost so bitter you don't enjoy it. Or at least I don't. Right. These are bitter, but they're a, a smooth, enjoyable bitterness to it. Right. Not that I would buy these because I'm not a dark chocolate person, but, um, but if you like dark chocolate, these are awesome. I just ate another piece of the chocolate, the milk chocolate caramel sea salt. Yeah, it's awesome. And I got a lot of uh, sea salt in yeah. that bite. 
Yeah, but I love this. I love sea salt and chocolate anyway. I think it goes really well together. Yeah, These, that was my favorite one. Yeah, this one, the orange one, mm -hmm. dark chocolate caramel sea not salt. Dark chocolate. Not dark chocolate. Milk, <laughs> milk chocolate. Milk chocolate caramel sea salt is the best one. Yeah, that's the best one. And the second one is the, is milk. the milk. And I'm telling you, the it the milk is like no other milk that I've had because mm -hmm. it has that caramel flavor in it. Very, very good. Yes, these are excellent bars. So if you see them, don't be afraid to pay $3.99 for them, especially if you're going to divvy them out. Um, it's going to be kind of hard to um, to divvy them out, you know, um, just because the way they're made. Well, but, if you're shopping at the fresh market where we got this at, you, you're not you don't too care scared about, about how paying much, a little much. Yeah, you don't care how much it costs. Anyway. Yes, it's very, it's an expensive store yeah. uh, as it is. So, I will have a picture for you at the end of these. I will probably only take one of a milk and one of a dark yeah. because honestly, you can't tell the difference really in one and the other just to look at it. So, I'll, I'll take uh, just a picture of one of each for you at the end and thanks for watching.